Hello everyone, this is Priyanka Vasti. Welcome back to my channel, Maths in Minutes. I hope you must be very fine and very healthy. In this video today, we are going to discuss about the circle. Now we should understand the terminology of the circle. When we have a circle, we have the center point C. The distance between the center point to the circumference. Now what is circumference? The boundary of the circle is called a circumference. If the word perimeter is actually the circumference in the circle, this distance is called radius, right? And when the line joins from one end to another end of the circle, it is called as diameter, right? Now, one word we will be learning that is chord. What is a chord? Chord is a line segment. Just mind, I'm using the word line segment. So, chord is a line segment that meets the two points of the circle, right? Now, another word I will be discussing that is secant. Secant is a line that meets the circle at two points. There is a difference between the chord and the secant. Chord is a line segment. Line segment is of definite length. And line does not have in, uh, and line does not have a definite length. So secant is a line which meets the circle at two points, and chord is a line segment that touches the two part of the circle. Right now, next thing is whenever a chord is dividing the circle into two half, then it is called as segment. The lesser part will called as minor segment and the larger part will be the major segment. Right. On the other hand, if a circle is divided by an arc and it is enclosed within the radius, then this region is called as sector. The smaller is called as minor sector and the larger is called as major sector right now the chord there can be so many chord the longest chord is the diameter what is actually diameter diameter is a line that passes through the center and touches the two end points of the circle right so chord can be any line on the circle that is touching the two points on the circle the longest possible chord in a circle is it diameter if i talk about half circle this half circle is called as a semicircle right now an angle inscribed in a semicircle this angle is always 90 degree this is one of the property of the circle that whenever any angle is inscribed in a semicircle right it is 90 degree always. Right. Now we come to the another word tangent. Tangent is what? It is a line. Tangent is a line that touches any one point of the circle. And at every point only one tangent is possible. So this is a tangent which passes through the circle at only one point. Right. Now if we have a circle... And we have an exterior point say P and two tangents are originating. Then the distance between the tangents, suppose this is tangent E1, this is tangent 2. Then the distance between the tangent 1 and the distance between the tangent 2 is always same. What I said, I just said if two tangents are originating from one common point, then the distance between these two tangents, the length of these two tangents is the same. And when the radius of the circle touches this point, it makes 90 degree. That is, the tangent is perpendicular to the radius of the circle. This is the another property of the circle. Now let's see how we use these properties in the question. Suppose this is a circle and one triangle is inscribed in the circle. The C A B is given 27 degree and we are supposed to find angle C B A. Right. Now if we see this, 
we can find that this triangle is inside a semicircle that means this will be 90 degree right so we can write angle a c b is equals to 90 degree reason will be angle in a semicircle right so it will be angle in a semicircle now we if we know two angles and this is a triangle then we always know angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equals to 180 degree and the reason will be angles of a triangle so 27 plus 90 plus this angle b is equals to 180 degree from here we get angle b is equals to 180 minus 117 degree which will give 63 degree so angle b will be 63 degree in this question we have to find out the value of x and y now if we see this is a point p which is outside the circle and two tangents are originating from here right so y will be 12 from here directly because the property was there whenever a tangent originates from a common point the length of the tangents will be equal so y we got 12 from here and one more property was there that when radius and the tangents meet at a point, that point will have 90 degree. And so here it will also have 90 degree. Now if this length is 12 and this is 90 degree, this is 5, let this point be O. Then if we consider triangle and this let this point be T1, right? Now O, T1, P, if we consider the triangle, then this is forming a right angle triangle because it has 90 degree, right? And here X is the length, which is the hypotenuse, right? So we can find out X is equals to 5 square plus 12 of square by using Pythagoras theorem, right? So from X is square is equals to 25 plus 144. X square is equals to 169. And here X is equals to 30. I hope you have understood these concepts of circle. So please keep watching my video. Please subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel and stay home, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching my video.